Good morning class. So let's start our maths class. So children, in the last class, uh, I have discussed with you all the uh, workbook. Alright, the workbook calls question we have completed and practice questions, question number 5 I have discussed with you all. Alright, so as I have given you uh, the certain questions which are only the simple division one you divide by yourself as your own practice. Okay children, so now uh, question number 16. Everyone refer your workbook question number 16. So what is given? Let us understand what is given in that question. Right? So see here what is given. If 193 kg of rice is filled in bags of 5 kg. So what is given? Question number 16. Right? And do I need a solution? This key point I am writing. How many kg of rice? 193 kg of rice. Okay. 193 kg of rice filled in how many bags? Uh, fill in the bags of 5 kg. Okay, 193 kg of rice fill in the bags of 5 kg. It is uh, filled in the bags of is filled is filled in the bags of in the bags of 5 kg. So, how much kg of rice is filled in the bags of 5 kg? 193 kg of rice. Now the question is asking, if you fill 193 kg of rice in the bags of 5 kg, how many bags will be equally filled with rice? You have to find out number of bags that are equally filled out. Right, equally filled up with rice. So for that, to find out the number of bags you have to find out. As it is given 193 kg of rice is filled in the bags of 5 kg. Now the question is asking how many bags will equally fill up right, with rice. Number of bags you have to find out. So what you have to do to find out the number of bags? Children that 193 kg of rice you have to divide it by bags of 5 kg. Alright. So Dividend is your 193. Divisor is your 5. Now take 19. Consider 19. So find out the number less than 19 or equal to 19. 5, 3, 50. Alright. Subtracting. 9 minus 4. 5. It comes 4. Bring down 3. The next number. 43. Now 43 divided by 5. Find out the number less than 43 equal to 43. You have to divide 43 by 5. So 5 into 8, 40. So 3, what comes? Remainder. Because 3, we can't divide it by 5. So 3 is what? It's a remainder. So, how many bags are will be equally filled with rice? If 93 kg rice is filled in the bags of 5 kg. So, how many bags are equally filled with rice? We get what? 13. So, there's a question. So, how many bags? 38 bags. 38 bags will be equally filled. Will be equally filled with rice. So how many bags? If 193 kg of rice is filled in the bags of 5 kg, then how many bags will be required or will be equally filled with rice? Once we do division, we got 38 bags. So 38 bags will be equally filled with rice. Alright children? Got it? So you have to find it out this way. 193 kg of rice Divided by bags of 5 kg. Then we will get number of bags that will be equally filled with rice. Okay. Next is next. Let's see the next question what is asking. So children 17 is your homework. So division 1 you do it by yourself. 18. Again it's a word problem. So real life examples. Alright given. That I'm going to explain it for now. Rafi bag. Rafi bag. 2,840 cookies. Rafik bagged 2,840 cookies. Alright. He packed them equally in 20 boxes. After bag, 
2840 cookies he packed them packed it equally in 20 boxes division means equal share 20 boxes question is asking where dear any cookies left that is unpacked Rafiq packed how many cookies 2840 cookies and he after that what he did he packed them in 20 boxes equally Right. after baking you pack them in 20 boxes equally now the question is asking where there any cookies left that is unpacked that things you have to calculate all right so let's start how many cookies roughly back 2840 cookies all right next you pack them in equally how many boxes pack them equally in Pack them equally. How many boxes? 20 boxes. The question is asked. Where there? Any cookies left unpacked? So how you are going to find out? Is there any cookies left that is unpacked? We have to do division. Yes or no? 2840 cookies divided by 20 boxes. Then we will get the number of cookies packed in one box. As it is given, this, this is the total number of cookies that are packed. It is equally packed in 20 boxes. But first, we are going to find out in one box how many cookies are there. Then we will see is there any left that is unpacked. To find out the number of cookies packed in one box, what you have to do? We, we have to divide. So let's do 2840 divided by 20. We will take 28. Right? So, 20 into 1. 20 into 1, 20. Subtract it. Okay. Bring down the next number, 84. Okay. So, 20 into 4, 80. Subtract it, 4 will come. 84 minus 80 is minus 80 come 4 bring down next number that is 0 20 into 2 40 subtract it 0 so after doing division children is there any remainder it's no we are getting remainder how much after doing division to find out what number of cookies packed in one box how much we get 142 142 that is the question that means in one box 142 cookies are packed now after doing division did you get a remainder no so the question is asking what where there where there any cookies left unpacked what we are going to write answer yes or no yes answer is no we are going to write what no why because we did not find any remainder all are equally packed in 20 boxes. So in one box, how many cookies are packed? 142. So the answer, what you are going to write? Answer, we are going to write that. There were, there were no cookies left unpacked. Cookies left unpacked so this is how you have to find out all right in one box how many cookies are packed 142 so in 20 box boxes 2840 cookies are packed and no, there were no cookies left unpacked because we did not find any remainder remainder is the remaining one that left not share all right children got it uh, but it's clear now the next question okay that is question number 19 so what is given 19 let's see children maria has maria's girl she has 468 liters of orange juice how much 468 liters of orange juice all right she pours on she pours an equal quantity in 14 cats maria has how much uh, orange juice 468 liters all right she pours an equal quantity 
in 14 cans. She pours it in equal quantity of 14 cans. How many cans are equally filled? Maria has what? How much? Oranges 468 liters. She pours an equal quantity in how many cans? 14 cans. Alright, now you have to do what? You have to find out how many cans are equally filled. How many cans are equally filled? That things we have to find out. Clear? So how you are going to find out? By doing division. Alright, so 468 liters of orange juice divided by the 14 cans. Right? So, 468 liters of orange juice. Orange juice. See children. She pours an equal quantity in how many cans? 14 cans. Thus, liter of juice, it pours an equal quantity in 14 cans. Now, how many cans are equally filled? You have to find out how many cans are equally filled. How you are going to find out? How many cans are equally filled? By doing liters of oranges by divided by 14 cans. So let's see. 468 divided by 14. Take it 46. Dividend 468. You take 46. 14 into 3. How much coming children? 42. It's less than 46. Subtract it. 6 minus 2, 4. 4 minus 4, 0. Bring down the next number. That is 48. Again, 14 into 3. 42. 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2, 6. Now children see here. 6 is less than 14. We cannot be divided. So remainder, how much we got? Six. So that means 468 liter of orange juice, Maria pours an equal quantity in 14 cans. So how many cans are equally filled? How many cans are equally filled? By the division, we got how much? 33. Alright? By doing division, how much we got? 33. So you can see the you can see whether your division process is correct or not. Just do quickly into divisor. 4 into 3, 12. Carry 1. 4 into 3, 12, 13. 1 into 3, 1 into 3. 2, 3 plus 3, 6. 462. We got it. This is a what? Quitting into divisor. We get 462. Then you add remainder, that is 6, 468, this is remainder. So our division process is what? It's correct. So how many cans are equally filled? Therefore, 33 cans are equally filled. And the three cans are equally filled. And six are remaining. Got it, children? Right? So, children, the rest of the questions, you just do it on practice at home. Right? And I've completed the word sums. Okay, on the 20, you do it by yourself. 20, the remaining question is 20. That was That is word problem. You do it by yourself. Right, children? So, the questions... What problems related to our real life scenario? What I have explained to you. Kindly you go through it. You do it. Alright children. You note it down. Okay. Just you do it by yourself. First you see how to do. Then you note it down. You do it by yourself. Alright children. Yeah. So. All the things. Whatever I have taught you. About the division from the division chapter, what we have learned how to divide a four digit number by one digit number, then four digit number by two digit numbers, then the properties of division, then the word problems, what problems related to our real life examples that we have learned. Right, children, then I have taught you the correctness of to check to check whether the division is correct or not by using the formula 
you want, you kindly want practicing. Right, children? Thank you.